Hi everyone, Richard here from Black Man's Photography and today we're going to be doing a video for Mike's Dive Store on the Aqualung i300C dive computer. Now the i300C is a, an upgrade on the Aqualung i300 but it's had a few upgrades. It's now got Bluetooth connectivity which the old model didn't have. And that Bluetooth connectivity allows you to connect your dive computer to your smartphone or your tablet so that you can download your dive profile, um, view your logs and also uh, via the Diver Log Plus app you can change your settings on your dive computer with the app on your phone. Now we did a review on the i770R uh, recently. If you didn't see it I'll add a link to it at the end of this video. Uh, but in that uh, video uh, we discovered that the, um, uh, the, the computer connects to the Diver Log app in hindsight, I should have done that with the i770R, I didn't. So when we were asked to have a look at the IC, uh, the i300C, jumped at the chance, wanted to give the app a go to see what we can do. So rather than spend the time on this video uh, talking about what the computer does, uh, its menus, uh, so on and so forth, I'm going to spend the next couple of minutes uh, trying, I say trying, um, I haven't used the computer, I've never used the app, um, I'm going to try and connect the two and I'm going to try and change the settings and I'm going to see for you guys how easy that is to do. Let's take a look and see how we get on. Okay, let's give this a go. Um, I haven't used the menus on the, or I haven't used the dive computer at all, so I've got no idea how these menus work, but it's going to be a, a little bit of trial and error, so we're both going to be learning at the same time. Now I've preloaded the Diver Plus app onto my iPhone. I'm just going to select that. It's asking me to add a new device. Okay, we need to turn the Bluetooth on if it's not turned on. So we are going to. Got no idea where it is. Uh, log set. Uh, util. I reckon it's under there. What do you reckon? Um, ah, Bluetooth, here we go. Okay, let's turn that on. I'm going to turn the Bluetooth on and we are going to press start. The phone is scanning for devices, so I'm going to assume that this will connect somehow. So I'm expecting to see something either on the dive computer or on the phone screen. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take. I haven't read anything. We are learning as we go along. Okay. Here we go. It's found something. It took, a, took a couple of minutes to um, find it but it's found it, so let's select this and it's now connecting to the device would you like to pair with your phone? yes I would like to pair with my phone oh here we go, it's doing something uh, enter the passcode from the dive computer 2624 device added successfully ok, well that seemed um, it seemed pretty easy. It's telling me um, when it synced and at what time it's synced. So let's select that. So it gives me the serial number, uh, the firmware version, and the date and the time uh, that it was synced. And you're going to see the history. Well, so this is a brand new computer. I haven't taken it in the water. I've taken it literally fresh out of the box five minutes ago. Um, so it's not done any dives. Um, so settings. Um, let's see if we can set the time. So, uh, time, our format, let's go, I like 24 hour format. Uh, month, day, day, month, and change date and time. Right, so we are going to, uh, what is the date today? I have no idea what the date is actually off the top of my head. Um, I think it's the, hang on a minute, oh, I think it's the 18th. Uh, so we are going to tell it it's the 18th of November 2018 and the time is, uh, here we go, it's 2.20pm, yes that's correct, no it's not, it's 3 o'clock, no, it's on my phone. 
okay so it is 3 p.m. there we go let's set use the system date and time what does that mean uh, okay I think that's done we're going to press that button um, we are going to sync I don't know if I've done the right thing. I think I've gone wrong here. I don't know what I've done. Um, Oh, look at that, it's changed the date and time on the... Uh, so what else can we change on here? So we set the date and time. Um, as you can see it now says on the screen uh, that it's the 18th of November and it's one minute past three. I don't know how I get that to now show on... Oh there we go, it was there. All the way through. There we go, it's one minute past three. Fantastic. Uh, what else can we change? Let's see if we can go in and change the gas. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, let's go nitrox. So you can add two gas mixes to this by the looks of it. Um, again, as I say, I haven't looked, but we are going to see if we can. Uh, we're going to set one at 32. Um, we are going to go 1.4 because there's a max depth of 33.9. And then for, oh, we can add more gases. How many gases can we add? We're going to have three gases. There we go. That's as far as we can go. Uh, second gas, we're going to set, I don't know, let's say 50%. Just for a bit of fun. Uh, we're going to set that at 1.4, gives us a max operating depth of 18.1 meters. And then for the third gas, we're set that just for a, um, just for the sake of it, we'll set that to 75. And we'll go 1.4, that gives us a max operating depth of 8.7 meters. Um, so I sync that with the foam. And it's paired and it has now saved those settings in the phone uh, sorry on the dive computer uh, let's see what else we can set uh, utilities so activate wet activation so obviously as soon as the dive computer gets into the water and it gets wet it obviously turns on you can obviously turn that um, uh, utility on or off we're going to keep it in metric uh, conservative factor will let's turn that on just for the for the sake of it uh, you can turn your deep stop on and off from this and you can change your water type from salt to fresh uh, safety stop obviously on um, yeah you can change the length of your safety stop minute from three to five minutes and you can change your safety stop depth between three to six minutes so that will be uh, so if you've got it set to, set to six meters, for example, uh, as soon as you hit six meters, your um, your dive computer will go into safety stop mode and start counting down. Uh, your dive sample rate you can change between sixty to three seconds. Oh, sorry, two seconds. Is that say two seconds? Yeah. And backlight duration. Oh, look at that. So let's turn it to ten seconds, and we'll sync all of that with the. Uh, there we go, let's start syncing that. Scanning devices, that's the one we want. We want to connect that. And connecting to device, pairing, writing device settings, there we go. So that has just um, 
I've just been able to change a number of settings on the phone pretty easily. I was able to connect pretty easily over Bluetooth. Um, yeah, here we go. We've got a quick reference guide on the app so I can see everything that I need to see in terms of what does what and, and where I need to go. Let's just go back one. And there's also an owner's manual if I so wish to take the time to read it, which is quite nice. It means you haven't got to worry about finding bits of paper when all of a sudden you come to do something in your dive computer and you don't know what to do. Quite like that, that's cool. And we can check, oh, here we go. The firmware is up to date. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed, it's pretty cool. It's the first time I've connected um, any dive computer to a smartphone uh, in that way. It was easy to do. Um, I'm quite impressed with what settings that I can change. I can obviously set alarms, change my gas, change the utilities, set the time date. Um, yeah, pretty good. Put my alarm on or off. Uh, decide whether I want an alarm uh, at a deep uh, deep stop. Sorry, a deep alarm, so that I don't pass um, any um, permitted uh, depths. Uh, elapsed dive, dive time, dive time remaining. Uh, yeah, pretty good. I'm quite impressed, quite like that. Well, wow. well that was pretty easy. I had never used a dive computer before. Uh, I wasn't familiar with the menus. I was able to find the Bluetooth function in the mode menu uh, relatively easy. I hadn't used the Dialog Plus app at all. I uh, was able to connect uh, the phone to the dive computer very easily. It took a couple of minutes to sync, fair enough. Uh, but the Bluetooth didn't let me down. Uh, I was able to change a number of settings in the dive computer via the phone rather than fumbling around settings trying to change times and gas mixes and whether I want salt or fresh water. It's very, very easy to do. Um, pretty impressed. I, I can't believe I've never connected a dive computer to an app before. I will certainly be doing that more in the future with my own dive computers. A um, couple of things to call out about the Aqualung i300C. Uh, it's got four dive modes. Uh, you've got your air, your nitrox, your gauge and your free dive. You can connect free gas mixes as we found uh, going through the app. You can connect free gas mixes um, up to 100% oxygen um, which supports uh, advanced diving and also uh, accelerated decompression. The Aqualung i300C uh, has also been updated with a user changeable battery. Uh, and it's also got data retention, so even when you change the battery, you don't lose any of the history in your um, dive profiles and your settings uh, won't be lost even when you change the battery, which is pretty cool. Uh, what we had in the box, we have uh, a little pamphlet um, about the Divalog Plus app. Um, didn't look at it, it was just use the app. I think it's more of an advert for Diver Plus. Uh, there is a software... Um, uh, disc, user software disc in the box, which if you've got the app you don't really need, so that's redundant. There is an i300C review card, um, just sort of a quick reference card, um, just if you wanted to see what you're doing. There's only two buttons on the computer, um, in and out. And also there is a little tool which allows you to change the battery yourself, which is quite cool, quite neat. So. Yeah, pretty good, very impressed. Like the Diver uh, Log Plus app, like the computer. Uh, at £216 in Mike's Dive Store currently, it's a very, very cheap computer. Um, that is uh, way cheaper than a lot of computers that I've come across. So that's great for your uh, new diver, through to some of more your uh, advanced and more um, experienced divers. But £216 in Mike's Dive Store is very, very cheap. So on that note, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please do click on the subscribe button down below. It would be great to have you along for future videos. But until the next time, I'll speak to you guys very, very soon. Bye.